All right, let's try this for a second time. Good Wednesday afternoon. We're here in uh, Beach City, Ohio. Just finished getting loaded, finished strapping up. A uh, load of lumber going down to a brand new hotel down in Louisville. Uh, Got to run it down there tonight. Got to stay at the terminal and then uh, shoot over in the morning. Drop the load, then shoot over to the terminal, drop the trailer, and then shoot to head up to pick up my new trailer. So here's the load. Got a bunch of, uh, well, got one 48 foot piece there on the bottom. A couple, I don't know, I'd say that's about 35 footers. Those th next three up. Then some shorties up top. It gets a little more fun on the other side. Hang on a second. We got some some bigger gaps and stuff over here. Uh, what I did, I threw all my straps over on the other side, 10 feet apart, and then I threw one more in there uh, to cover both sides of that that top skid there. Uh, and then I came over to this side and I threw in the extra five to fill in the gaps, um, or where there needed to be an extra strap. So like these two straps here, I needed uh needed the one because i got between this strap here and that strap there is about 10 foot so when i got over this side i need to cover that little one there and then cover the back side of that top one so by throwing this one strap here we covered the top one we covered the second one down um and then we had this one here to cover that little one and then the other big ones were covered already by the other straps by the down pressure so we got two straps. I had to roll up the very front one and this very back one because there was so much extra slack. Uh, all the other ones, there was very little slack, so I just rolled it up in the, the winches the way it was. All right, so that's pretty much that. We're looking at about 39,000 pounds. Um, I'm not even going to try to read that bill. There's it's all sorts of numbers and sizes and whatnot uh, we got our other load off we told them one o'clock or told told them it was going to be noon today that we were going to deliver i got there at 10 30 this morning they took me took me as soon as i got there no problems um this load i normally would not do this load it's 330 miles and it's only paying just over 500 dollars uh Five hundred and fifty two dollars. It's not even hitting three two dollars a mile for me. And like I said, normally I wouldn't do this though, but because I'm gonna be bobtailing up to get the trailer, um, I'm already not gonna have revenue for that. I didn't want to add to that negative revenue by deadheading down the three hundred miles to Louisville. Actually it would have been three hundred and right, right well, right around four hundred miles to deadhead down to Louisville. So I didn't want to add to that. I didn't want to wait around and lose out on the chance of being able to take a load down there. So yesterday I got called on this load and I was like, no, I'm not doing that load out of my normal reaction. Um, and then I thought about it more. It was like, well, it's barely going to run me any fuel and it's going to be something to add to that negative that I'm about to go into for going down there and then going up there and they haven't said anything to me yet, but I'm afraid that they're going to have me, before grabbing another load, having me deadhead back down to Louisville for a trailer inspection. So uh, if, if they have me do that, then uh, this week's going to be pretty much shot. Um, if not, because it's not registered through Mercer, it's already registered from outside, uh, I shouldn't have a problem, considering the fact that we don't have to have power onlys uh, inspected, so being that it's registered outside of the company, I might not have a problem. But we'll see what happens. So right now we're at 330 miles. We'll get down there about 8 o'clock, 8.30ish. Um, I've been here for an hour and 15 minutes now. I already got the 30 minute break in. Just gotta peek around here and figure out how how the heck to get out of this place. I don't think I can go around that corner there, so I think we're gonna back up, shoot that way, back up, and go out the way we came. Uh, 
Um, oh, on top of all the, the, the stuff that's on the trailer, I said screw it and threw these boxes in here too. So we got uh, five boxes there and then I got another two boxes I threw back on the bed for right now. I'll take them off the bed tonight when we go to bed. Um, I really don't like putting stuff in the cab, but I don't have a seat there so it didn't make much of a difference. He was fine. He was like, we'll just throw it on the trailer. If it gets wet, it gets wet. No big deal. They're only, um, they're hanging brackets is what they are. To, so they can put a 2x4 this way and a 2x4 this way, uh, just for reference. But And then they put the bracket around it so that they can uh, connect them together. Um, hanger brackets. Whew. Anyway, so that's it for right now. A uh, short video, but at least I got you guys updated on what we're doing. Uh, I'll upload this now, and then we'll get you another video for tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.